Hi, Miss Sullivan here, and we're going to connect some of the work we've been doing about reading pitches. We know that there are about seven basic letter names on our instruments, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and those repeat. Now, you might sometimes see an F sharp or B flat, but the seven basic letters are the same. We also know that there are seven basic solfege words, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, and then it repeats back to do. They follow the same system, the same order. And you notice that we typically sing and read things with solfege, whereas instruments we use letter names because that's how instruments are set up. In the fourth grade, you need to remember this. For our instruments that we play, in treble clef, that's this symbol over here, that we have F is the first space, then G, second line, A, second space, B, C, D, E, F. And these sayings are really helpful for reading notes in the treble clef. This one sounds like F, A, C, E, face, tells us every space. Say that with me, here we go. F, A, C, E, face, tells us every space. So if you see a note in between lines, it's either F, A, C, or E. The second saying is, every good bird does fly, tells us every line. Try that with me, here we go. Every good bird does fly, tells us every line. And those stand for the first line, E, second, G, B, D, and F. You might know another saying for either of these, um, whatever helps you remember it is great. All you need to know is the names of the lines and spaces. Now let's connect that to some of the patterns we've been practicing. Another thing you need to know about reading music pitches or notes is that, especially when we sing, our do moves. That's called movable do. For example, we have our first set of patterns right here. These should look familiar when G is do. Let's sing together. This first one is do, me, do. The second one is re, ti, re. Third one, do, me, so. Fourth one, so, fa, re, ti. And the last one, so, do. We practiced our photographic memory with these patterns. So we saw that do, me, do is do, me, do, and the shape for this one is re, ti, re, it goes down. This one, do, mi, so, is a line going up. So, fa, re, ti, is a line going down like a hill. And this one, so, do, is like a sharp drop off. Using that information, we can move do to this first space instead. But the patterns stay the same. They have the same shapes. They just sound slightly differently. So this one would be do, mi, do, re, ti, re, do, mi, so, so, fa, re, ti, so, do. And this third set, if do, do could be below our first line there. That's actually called middle C if you're familiar with it. So those ones would sound like this. Same solfege words, just do has moved. Do, mi, do, re, ti, re, do, mi, so, so, fa, re, ti, so, do. When you're finding patterns that match, you need to be audiating the solfege and knowing where do is. They'll usually be some sort of marker or arrow, as we're used to seeing, pointing to which one is do. Use your knowledge about do, re, mi, fa, so, the order of our solfege, and look for common shapes. Remember, all of these one patterns go do, mi, do. The number two patterns all go re, ti, re, down. The do, mi, so's, they all go up. So, fa, re, ti, they all go down. So, do, sharp drop with only two dots. So look for common shapes and look for the arrow or the marker to tell you where dough is.